All right, guys, this is the first of hopefully many videos on uh, a new program, maybe not a new program, but a phenomenal program called uh, Factory I.O. So it's an animation program where you have a shop floor here and you can drop in things like conveyors and motors and different types of sensors. Uh, and then you're able to see this in 3D and then control it with your PLC. Amazing, amazing uh, program. There are a number of different... Uh, cameras here that we can make use of. So the first thing we need to do, and, and Factory.io has set this up nicely, um, they show you how to install the program. And then the first thing in getting started is your navigation through, um, through the window here. So the first thing we need to do is we're going to look at this camera here, the Orbit camera. There are three cameras, the Orbit, the Fly, and the First Person. They are available right here on the top of your Factory.io program. So this is your um, kind of default camera here, the orbit camera. And if we scroll down here, it gives us a description. Um, default camera that should be used when building a scene. This is the only camera that allows you to move through parts without colliding with them. Okay, so in order to use this, we have to double left click on any part. And then that sets up a reference point. And then by holding down the right mouse button and then dragging the mouse, we should be able to move around that in this case, in the around the conveyor. So I'm going to open up uh, Factory I.O. here. I have just uh, gone here and open up a new project. I'll just show you right here. You can open up a new project. There are a number of scenes that are available here. And I just arbitrarily chose this guy right here. Okay, so this one right here, this project has uh, a couple of motors here, a conveyor belt, and it looks like one, two, three retroreflective sensors. Now, it said that in order to move around this environment here, I have to double left click on any part. So I'm going to choose this conveyor portion right here. Double left click. There we go. So that sets up the reference. Then hold down the right mouse button. I should see a white dot. Oh, very nice. There it is right there. And then if I move that, whoa, that's so cool. As soon as I move the mouse, that is phenomenal. I can get 360 degree view of that conveyor. So all I'm doing is I'm holding down the the right mouse button, uh, moving the, the mouse around, and I'm able to go completely around this conveyor. Awesome. Okay, so right there, my point of interest was right there. I was moving around on that axis. If I want to move around on this axis over here, I'm going to double left click here. There we go. Hold down the right mouse mouse button. There's that white Kind of reference point there and then I'm going around that axis now so different points of axis gives us different different viewpoints now if I want to zoom out I'm going to let go of the right mouse button I'm going to click the right mouse button one more time and then the roller in the center of your mouse will allow you to zoom in and zoom out so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, hold the right mouse button down now and I'm going to move the middle roller towards me and by doing that I can zoom out and you can see how large of a space we can work with here and then I can still move around here awesome so we're up in the rafters here and I can come right down to uh, to the ground here and in order to zoom in I'm now going to take that roller and I'm going to click it away from me now and by clicking it away from me then I'm zooming in and we can whoa Oh, so it said you can go, remember it said you can go right through a part uh, without smacking into it. So you can go, there's Casper, the friendly ghost option. You can go right through any of those guys, and that's as far as I can zoom in. Okay, because I was, remember my reference was on the other side of the conveyor. I came around, so I can go right back to that reference there. So, but the quality is phenomenal. Like if I le left click on here and then uh, zoom in here, look at this. Um, it's not grainy at all. It's phenomenal. Um, look at that uh, diagram there. Nice and clear. Um, if we go below, we can take a look at the, the bolts and everything. And the look at the, the shadowing change there as I take a look at this conveyor. I'm now going to zoom out. And you can see the shadows changing as we go around. There's our two motors there. Really, really cool animation. Oh, it looks like I can zoom in as well. So uh, I'm not moving the the roller in the center. 
I'm here. Let me zoom out a little bit here. Okay, so I'm going to right click on here and then zoom out. Okay, there you go. Now that was using the roller. I can also zoom, it seems, if I bring the mouse down to the floor and then keep pulling the mouse towards me. And all of a sudden, I'm kind of creeping along the floor here, and I can see underneath the conveyor as well. And I can still rotate around that axis there and get good view there. Okay, and then I'm going to push the mouse away from me, and then it lifts me up. And then I'm still at the same zoom now. And now I can use the mouse button in order to zoom in and zoom out. Awesome. Okay, so you're going to, again, double left click and then right click and then that is your point of access in order to zoom in you can use your mouse button if you move the roller away from you you're going to zoom in the roller towards you you're going to zoom out and if you go down to the ground then there's this cool zoom action wait for it whoa where it brings you right into the conveyor awesome okay so that was using this guy right here uh the orbit camera right here okay the next one to look at is the fly camera. Okay, so next one is the fly camera. The fly camera is used to move freely in the 3G space. This camera collides with the scene parts, but it's not detected by the sensors. So all of our controls are spelt out right here. Uh, let's see, double left mouse button looks the camera to where the mouse cursor is pointing. Okay, right mouse button and drag rotates the camera. The mouse wheel is going to translate the camera vertically left and right makes the camera forward and then we've got up down left and right or w s a d um, so the keys w s a d or your up down left and right arrow keys whatever you want is going to move your uh, camera forward backwards left and right okay so open up a new scene here um, i'm going to use the uh, the fly camera now okay so we're on the right setting now so it's said to double click on something Okay, and then by holding down the right mouse button, uh, there we go, we should be able to move around from left to right. Okay, I'm moving the mouse button right now, so to go down, I'm moving it towards. To go up, I'm scrolling that inside mouse button up or away from me. There we go, so we can move up and down vertically here, and then with the arrow keys, uh, let's see, here's forwards, reverse, so I'm not holding it on any mouse button whatsoever, uh, but I can go left and right with my keys there, and then W is also going to move forwards, um, what did you say, S is going to move backwards, A is to the left, and D is to the right. Excellent. Okay, so we should be able to, to go through and navigate through here using the fly camera now. Okay, so we should be able to, again, right click here and I can move back and forth. This is a very cool uh, sorting station that they've set up here where it's got the boxes that are going to appear here. Go along the conveyor, looks like go through uh, a sensor here and then we've got some diverters that are going to bring it down to each of these different positions here. So again, using the, the fly camera, I can go forward here and I should be able to smack right into the machine. Okay, so I'm not going to pass through the machine, so but I can smack right into it there. And the sensors that are there, if we were using this this camera here, uh, that particular sensor right here, the retroreflective, wouldn't be able to pick us up when we smacked into that beam of light that's there. Okay, so you can move your things back and forth just by grabbing each of your components here okay and then again by right clicking you should be able to move up and down and using your arrow keys you can move back and forth and left and right excellent i find this one with the uh, what was the name of this guy again the or <coughs> the orbit camera i find this guy a lot better to navigate through the scene Obviously a use for the the fly camera, but I like this uh, This guy right here the orbit camera because we can just double left click right and then right click and then that's my 
point of reference, and then I can fly around the entire thing, right? If I want to zoom back, I can use that mouse button. So I find this camera um, a lot easier. And again, we can just zoom right in to here. Very cool. So we're going to have to figure out how to put all these push buttons and selector switches onto this enclosure and put all of our different uh, components on the conveyor as well. Really cool. Oh, it's even got uh, some counters as well that should be able to provide us with uh, a display that gives us a count in each of the different rungs there. Really excited to use this software. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, the third camera now. So the third camera is the first person camera. So the first person camera represents a person of, uh, <laughs> this actually makes me feel good for once, uh, for my height, a five foot, nine foot individual. So being a man of uh, five foot eight stature, um, that's nice to see that height there. Um, because most of my students are about two feet taller than I am. So first person uh, camera presents a person of five foot nine, should be used when simulating a person in a virtual factory. It collides with scene parts and by default is not detected by the sensors. Okay, uh, you may set the first person camera to be detected by sensors using the console command. Uh, learn more about the console. So that might be something cool as well if you're using the first person um, I'm going to go to the scene because this is making me dizzy. Um, but we can change the uh, the setting there so that as we walk around, we can be detected by any of those light beams. So let's see. Let's go to this guy right here, the first person camera now. And as soon as we do that, then we are now standing above the unit now. And let me see our uh, controls. Let's go back to the web page here and take a look at our controls. Double left mouse button looks the camera to where the mouse cursor is pointing. So that seems to be um, key with each of them. Uh, right mouse button and drag rotates the camera. Left and right mouse button moves forward. WSAD and the space allows us to jump. All right, so let's take a look at that one, guys. So in first person, we're standing right in front of the, the console at the appropriate height. I'm going to right click now. Um, and then I'm going to scroll to the left with my mouse and to the right. So I'm able to look around. And again, you can do like a full 360 if you want here. Okay, so moving left and right by holding down the right mouse button allows us to look left and right. And now the W should move us forward. Easy now. The S is going to move us back. There we go. Uh, the A is going to move us to the left, and the D to the right. Very cool. Okay, so we should be able to move around the entire unit now. And then by holding down the right mouse button, we can also look to the side. There we go. And it just simulates somebody walking around that unit. Okay, so we can back up, we can move forwards, and when we get to the unit, then it looks like we kind of smack into the unit. So if I go here right up to the conveyor, I smack right into the conveyor. Um, and again, I'm not going to be tripping off the sensors unless we've changed the setting on the console. Now this guy also, let's open up uh, another scene. So let's open up a uh, just a conveyor like this. Let's go to first person. As soon as we go to first person, it drops us onto the ground here. And again, we can look around and we can go backwards with the S. And it said that we can also jump. So I don't know what the use of the, the jump is, but if I walk forwards, then I smack into the unit and I can't get around it. But if I back up again and then take a running jump, then I can jump over that conveyor and get to the other side. Again, I don't know the use of uh, doing parkour in the uh, in the plant here, but you're able to jump up and then stand on top of the conveyor and then continue on. Okay, but again, I like this one here. This seems to be the best one for me for viewing everything, right? Pick a point there and all of a sudden you're rotating 360 degrees, grab another point, 
right here by double left clicking right there's my new reference now and now I can use my mouse to zoom in and zoom out so my favorite is still this guy right here uh, the orbit camera and it says that's the primary uh, default camera that you're going to be using for each of the scenes all right guys we'll finish off there uh, the next thing in our manual is uh, opening a scene which you've seen me do a couple times there and then creating a scene so next thing we'll do is we'll um, instead of uh, instead of doing this and just opening up um, our own pre-made scene from the manufacturer uh, we can create a scene that mimics any of these guys right here so we'll do that next on the next video all right guys thanks for your patience we'll see you on the next video